yet another feature that everybody's been waiting for in version 5.0 that is extremely cool is encrypted archives. Encrypted archives allows you to encrypt, wait for it, your archives. All right, so uh, it is 128 AES, 128 um, encryption. Um, it's the same encryption standard that the NSA uses uh, for encrypting secret information. Um, it is not 192 or 256. Um, I think the main reason behind that is that it really would require you to use a lot more CPU power um, as you're ingesting lots and lots of video. Um, so we went with 128 encryption right now. Um, in the past, um, you could log into uh, your drive. Um, you could navigate to your HD witness area where you've got uh, cameras. Um, and you could look at uh, video just like this, like I'm doing right now, uh, in the clear. Um, so each one of the different uh, files is basically stored in an MKV. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, readable if you have physical access to the machine. Um, we're going to change that. Um, so how do we change that is the question, right? Um, let's do one thing real fast. Let's move one of these cameras over just to make sure we have a camera recording. Okay, cool. Um, so now to activate archive encryption, uh, you want to go to the system administration tab and go to security. And then down here, you have a new button that says archive encryption. Um, it's going to make you pick a password, right? So uh, number one, make sure your passwords match. You might want to do it twice just to be careful. Okay. So uh, if you lose this, you're going to lose your archive. So make sure you write this down somewhere safe, right? Um, so go ahead and press OK. Um, it's going to apply archive encryption. When I press apply here, uh, we should see, you know, what it does to the servers themselves, right? So you can see here my read write speed on my C drive, my D drive um, hasn't really impacted my CPU too much, right? Um, on this machine, I'm sitting around 11%. On the other machine, I'm going up to 37, 38, 39, 40. Yeah, maybe it is impacting a little bit. Um, not a huge impact. Um, the way that our software runs on CPUs, you shouldn't see a massive impact, but you will see some impact uh, when you are when you do activate uh, archive encryption. So now if I go back and I look at um, this camera here, let's see when date modified is. So it is recording. So let me check the camera ID here. B8A44F, B8A44F, 4F, 4F uh, 27. So this one right here. Uh, when I go into the archive here, we're in July. If I go to that specific file now, I do. I am not able to see the video in the clear. It has been encrypted. So. That is what archive encryption does. Um, should you use it? Uh, absolutely. If you think you need to, uh, if your customer requires it, um, it definitely makes uh, recorded video uh, safer um, from anybody really physically stealing a machine and, and getting into the hard drives. Um, and again, it's AES 128, same uh, level the NSA uses for secret information for the government. So archive encryption available now in version 5.0.